So you have tangent of 22.5. Um, so what we're asked to do is evaluate um, using the half angle formula. And so we want to evaluate the exact value. So do we have anything on the unit circle here for 22.5 degrees? No. But what we can do is we can evaluate using the half angle formula. We could say, what if we said tangent of this is, this is theta over 2. So now we're saying theta over 2 is equal to 22.5 degrees. So we're going to say, we're going to tell it, say that angle is half of theta. So therefore, what exactly then is theta? 45 degrees. How did I do that? You just multiply by 2 on both sides. 22.5 times 2 is 45 degrees. Now let's look at the half angle for tangent. Um, it's 1 minus cosine of theta over sine of theta. Well, theta is not 22.5. That's theta over 2. We're saying theta is 45 degrees. So it's 1 minus square root of 2 over 2 divided by square root of 2 over 2. Okay. Now, there are two formulas for tangent. I would recommend always doing the one where, the, where it's sine in the denominator rather than 1 plus cosine, unless another situation exists. Okay, But do you guys see? I mean, all I did was evaluate. This was not that bad. But now, here comes the not fun part, is simplifying. So again, in my thinking, is we have a 2 in the denominator and in the numerator, or we have fractions. I want to get rid of those fractions in the numerator and the denominator, right? So therefore, I should multiply everything by what to get rid of those 2's in the denominator? I should multiply by 2 in the numerator, right? Which you could think of it as the reciprocal. So I'm going to multiply by 2 in the numerator and the denominator. Apply distributive property. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times square root of 2 is minus the square root of 2, which is 1. Those divide out as well. Now, we're dividing by the square root of 2. Ugh. We don't want to have a simplified answer with the square root of 2 in the denominator, so we need to rationalize the denominator. Have to rationalize the denominator, you need to multiply by both of them. 2 square root of 2 minus um, square root of 2 squared, which is 2, all over 2. Does that 2 divide into both of those? Yes, it does. So your final answer is the square root of 2 minus 1. Yes. Sure. All right. Um, I think I got 